Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay, alternatively spelt as Sarat Chandra Chatterjee, the 15th of September 1876 to the 16th of January 1938, was a prominent Bengali novelist and short story writer from the Indian subcontinent. Most of his works deal with the lifestyle, tragedy, and struggle of the village people and the contemporary social practices that prevailed in Bengal. He remains the most popular, translated, adapted, and plagiarized Indian author of all time. Biography Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay was born on 15 September 1876, in Debanandapur, a small village two miles northwest of Bandal in Hooghly, West Bengal. His father Mudalal Chattopadhyay was an idler and dreamer who held irregular jobs. He could not finish novels and stories that he had started writing, but passed on his imagination and love of literature to Sarat Chandra. He, wife Bhuvanmohini, and their five children lived for many years in his father-in-law Kedarnath Gangopadhyay's house in Bagalpur, Bihar. Sarat Chandra was a daring, adventure-loving boy. Most of his schooling was in informal village schools called Pothshalas. He was a good student and got a double promotion that enabled him to skip a grade. He passed his entrance examination, public examination at the end of class 10, but could not take his FA, First Arts examination or attend college due to lack of funds. Sarat Chandra started writing in his early teens. After finishing his formal studies, he spent much of his time interacting with friends, acting in plays, and in playing sports and games. Several of his famous novels and stories were written during this period. In 1893, Sarat Chandra moved to Burma. Part of his novel, Srikanto, is based on his experiences in Burma. He got a temporary job in Burma Railways Audit Office and later worked for many years in Burma's Public Works Accounts Office. While living in Rangoon, he married his first wife Shanti. He was deeply hurt when his wife and one year old son died from plague. He married his second wife Mokshada later renamed Hironmoyi also in Rangoon and taught her to read and write. She outlived him by 23 years. In 1916, Sarat Chandra moved back to India and settled in Howrah, near Kolkata. It is during this time that he improved his Sanskrit skills from Kayasri, Kishorimo and Mukherjee. He devoted himself to writing and established himself as one of India's major novelists and story writers. He was involved in India's freedom struggle and served as the president of Howrah District Branch of Indian National Congress 1921 University of Calcutta awarded him the prestigious Jagadarini Medal. University of Dhaka awarded him an honorary doctorate D. Lit. On 2 Ma 1344 or 16 January 1938 he died, from cancer of the liver. House of Chattopadhyay After returning from Burma, Chattopadhyay stayed for eleven years in Baj Shippur, Howrah. Then he made a house in the village of Samtabar. He spent the later years of his life as a novelist in Samtabar and in another house in Kolkata. His house in Samtabar is often called as Sarat Chandra Kuthi in the map of Samtabar or Samta, in the Howrah district of West Bengal. The two-storied Burmese-style house was also home to Sarat Chandra's brother, Swami Vedananda, who was a disciple of Bailur Math. His and his brother's samadhi can still be seen there. The trees like bamboo, galancho and the guava trees planted by the renowned author are still tourist attractions. <laughs> Appreciation The phenomenal popularity of Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay has been attested by some of the most prominent writers as well as literary critics across India in their writings. Most of the authors in Assam and Odisha, at least before the independence, read him admiringly in original Bengali, rest of India read him in translations in varying quality. Publishers were never tired of reprinting his works, he remains the most translated, the most adapted and the most plagiarized author. His novels also reached a number of people through the medium of film and he is still an important force in Indian cinema. O. N. V. Kurup writes, Sarat Chandra's name is cherished as dearly as the names of eminent Malayalam novelists. His name has been a household word. Dr. Marajkar informs, The translations of Sarat Chandra created a stir amongst the readers and writers all over Maharashtra. 
He has become a known literary personality in Maharashtra in the rank of any popular Marathi writers including Hnapte, V. S. Khandakar, N. S. Fadke and G. T. Madholkar. Jainendra Kumar, who considers that his contribution towards the creation and preservation of cultural India is second, perhaps, only to that of Gandhi, asks a rhetorical question summing up Surat Chandra's position and presumably the role of translation and inter-literary relationship. Surat Chandra was a writer in Bengali, but where is that Indian language in which he did not become the most popular when he reached it? Films His works have been made into around 50 films in many Indian languages. Particularly, his novel Devdas has been made into 16 versions, from Bengali, Hindi to Telugu. Parinita has also been made twice. In 1957, Bardidi was made by director Ajoy Kar. Rajlakshmi O Srikanta and Indranath Srikanta O Anadadidi by Haridas Bhattacharya in 1958 and 1959 respectively, Majli Didi 1967 by Harishikesh Mukherjee and Swami 1977, for which he was awarded the Filmfare Award for Best Story, or other adaptations. Another famous film Chahoti Bahu 1971 is based on his novel Binder Chell. His novel Data was adapted into a Bengali film as Data film in 1976 starring Suchitra Sen and Somitra Chatterjee in the lead roles. The film Sabiasachi film was released in 1977 based on his work Pathar Dabi. The other movies based on his novel were Nishkriti, and Apni Pariye 1980 by Basu Chatterjee, starring Amal Palkar. The Telugu film Thodi Kodalu 1957 is also based on this novel. Gulzar's 1975 film, Kushbu is majorly inspired by his work Pandit Mache. The 1961 Telugu film Vajandam by Acharya Atreya is loosely based on his novel Data. Also the 2011 film Aalo Chaya is based on his short story, Aalo Chaya. Works <laughs> 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 Surat Chandra wrote novels, novellas, and stories. He came to maturity at a time when the national movement was gaining momentum together with an awakening of social consciousness. His novel Pather Dabi played an important role in the national movement. Much of his writing bears the mark of the resultant turbulence of society. Sensitive and daring, his novels captivated the hearts and minds of innumerable readers both in Bengal and in the rest of India. His best-known novels include Pali Samaj 1916, Charitrayan 1917, Devdas 1917, Nishkriti 1917, Dada 1918, Srikanta, Griha Daha 1920, Sesh Prashna 1929 and Seshar Pariche published posthumously 1939. He wrote some essays including Narir Idias The History of Women and Narir Mulya The Value of Women. Narir Idias, which was lost in a house fire, contained a history of women on the lines of Spencer's descriptive sociology. While the second, Narir Mulya gives a theory of women's rights in the context of Mills and Spencer's arguments, the following classification of his works is based on Surat Rachanabali Collected Works website. See also Films based on works by Surat Chandra Chattopadhyay. Samtabur, the village where Surat Chandra spent his life's early years as a novelist. Surat Chandra Kuthi, the house of Surat Chandra at Samtabur. <laughs>